Robert, fix it. You have been challenged to run Linux Mint. It's impossible. Do you fear this challenge? You're on, I'll do it. Excellent. Out of my way, I have work to do. He's not ready. There is no one else. Okay, here we are. We are set up, my friends. So, in the Linux trial that I was doing, I didn't really mention that the system that I was using Linux in wasn't my actual desktop. It was the gaming PC test bench. And so I wasn't in there too long. And so that's why you see the videos. People have been saying, what are you even doing? It looks like you don't know what you're doing. It's because I only tried it for a few hours. So what I did was I put the SSD that has Linux on it in my actual office PC, which is an old Dell. And that one is meant for just work stuff, workflow, emails, things like that. So it's not really for gaming and I don't have to keep switching back and forth between Windows and, and all that. It's, it's, for the most part, it's for YouTube, email, and at some point I will use Blender, but not yet. So what I did was I, I put it in, I have my secondary hard drive is hooked up, and now everything's set up, and if you see, it looks different. I went ahead and took some time to go through the configurations and stuff like that. And so now it looks, I tried to make it a look a little bit more like Windows. And I learned some stuff along the way. I don't really need Steam here. Let's get rid of that. So the first thing I did was I, I couldn't understand why I couldn't move the, the icons around. So what I did was I went to right click here and I found customize and I turned off the auto arrange. So I don't know why I didn't see that before. Oh, you can make this tiny, big. And then you can make it vertical. Like that. I kind of want to try the horizontal just for fun. So this is what Windows would normally look like. I'm just trying to make it more at home, you know, so it doesn't look so much different than what I'm used to. And then I added this so you can add the, you can add folders, you can add the drives. This kind of looks like a Mac now. So there's my secondary hard drive. There's a flash drive that I have in there, which is not sure what that's for exactly. <laughs> and then, so I learned some of the terms. So you have panels, which is this bar. And I guess you can move it up here. You can put it on the side. You can have more than one. And then applets, which is these things, right? So I added the weather corner bar, which is the, to get back to the desktop quickly. This would normally be on that side, I think. This is more like Windows 8. But I assume you can probably move it around. Let me see, show the desktop, scroll wheel, peek at the desktop, hover. I assume that you can move this. Let me see. Uh, no. Okay, well, that doesn't matter. And then, so what I did was I put on the programs that I would use. So I put Blender. 
I put dark table, which I might use in the future. I have a link to software manager now. And the thing that I kept, remember I kept saying, where is the freaking control panel? It's right here. Just right click here, system settings. That's control panel. And so you could have searched for it here, settings, and it's here. But I'm used to Windows where you right click here and the control panels and the Windows changed recently to where everything is from the right click of the start menu. And that's the thing that my brain just couldn't accept, but it, it's all here. So it's not like it's missing. You just have to, I kind of want this to be different. I've seen people be able to reconfigure this because this is like Windows XP kind of, but it's fine. And then I want to put a search bar here, like Windows. So I haven't figured out how to do that yet. Panel edit applets. Is there a search one? Let's see. Just searching for search. Anyway, I'll do that later. So eventually I will have a search bar here that's on the panel. And then all of my programs are here. So you can put them, when you go to a program, you can go here like such. Let's say Discord, right click. So I can add it to the panel or I can add it to the desktop or I can add it to the favorites. So let's do panel. So now we have Discord. Close that. OBS is recording, hopefully. Applets. So here's Discord. That works. Yeah. The thing is, for the most part, most people would just use stuff through Chrome. Like you can just open Chrome and you can go to Discord, right? Discord. And then you're in. That, that's how I do it normally. I don't know if I necessarily need an app for it, like how Macs are and stuff like that, but I did. I made links too. So I have a link for CapCut, which is what I use to edit the videos. They launch slowly sometimes. It's weird. Offline. Okay. Well, not a good example, but anyway. Um, there's Discord 10 years later. So I made a link to Adobe Express, which is what I use to make thumbnails. So it goes right to it. And then here's the thing that we were looking at before. So we have now solved basically every issue. Fortnite is just doesn't matter. I don't really play Fortnite. I was just joking about that. Um, OneDrive, it just has to be web-based, which is fine. I don't use OneDrive that much directly. What I do is this hard drive right here is connected to OneDrive. So anything on the old setup, anything that I would save in OneDrive would go on this hard drive. So it's all there. All I have to do is say drag a file to here. Um, oh, why is it read only? I think I'm supposed to set up some permissions for this, but I didn't do that yet. That's what my friend, my friend told me to, he said, you have to do some permission things, which is fine. So here's, here's the plan for this. Now everything's set up, everything works beautifully. 
The final thing we're gonna do at the end is we're gonna have a Windows Dual Boot. So what I'm gonna do is the the secondary drive, this hard drive, will have Windows on it, but I'm going to use Linux specifically for the rest of the duration of the trial period. And then if I have some crazy need to boot into Windows, I'll just boot from the other hard drive. I don't want to do dual boot on the same drive. I want it to be separated. And then that also is a safety feature because if the SSD should die or something, I can boot from the Windows drive and all my data is still there. And then that data that's still there is automatically backed up to OneDrive. So it's, it's, that seems to me to be the perfect scenario. And then we'll start getting into Blender. Um, I don't find, let me see. We still have to try emulation, but that's really not important. Um, the fact that everything works that I need to do, this is for my own personal use, means that I don't have an issue anymore. Things were just in different places, that's all. I just, I want to change that menu, I want to put the search bar. And uh, I was listening to more people talking about, you know, the reasons why they use Linux is because, you know, Microsoft's are spying on you. You have to make a Microsoft account now just to install Windows, which is weird. And then they keep trying to sell you stuff. And this being an older system, which is not very fast, is the perfect candidate for Linux. And as long as these things, maybe I should, maybe not make them so big, <laughs> large, ooh. That's too big, normal. It's kind of too small. But at this point, the way that it's set up right now, this is the equivalent of when I was using a Mac for a month. And outside of the, you know, the, the curve, the learning curve, there was no, no issues. I mean, I want to make this. Where's the, I just did this on the other one. Anyway, if it's a link, you can change the icon here. I forgot where that went. And then here's email. Save. So there's email. I don't use an email program. I probably should. And then the only other thing I want to do is add, let's see. Where is it? The thing I used to like was this notes. This is from, oh, uh, what was this from? XP or Vista? Remember this? Let's pin that to the to desktop. Remember you used to be able to have these little posties? Oh, that's cool. And it's just, you can take notes. And then let's see, they're not floating. Let me see, always on workspace. Okay. No, it's not there. So this is like the, the things to do. 
Add search bar. This is like an iPhone. And then whenever you're done with that task, you just delete it. See, and they can be on top of each other. I like that. So it's perfect. Everything's set up. No complaints. I'm gonna I'm done complaining. It works fine. So tell me what you think. Is it worth it? We'll see you in the next one. This is not over.